on to, on this particular play, you see how the motion and the movement. Uh, number one, the Giants have a, a loaded box because they see Zeke back there anyway. They know they have to equate account for him. But as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like nine people in the box at the beginning of this play. You imagine you motion out, see that corner clear out, and now you see a, a, a eight man box because both safeties are pulled up front. Dak sees this, so he walks up to the line. He makes his call. He points it out. Say there's nobody deep. So the play has just changed. And this is Pollard back there, not Zeke. I'm sorry. So now that Zach Dak has uh, called an audible at the line due to the fact that Moore has given him the carte blanche to recognize these things. So he points it out. Once he points it out, he sees the shift, and he's going to get pressure in his face due to Connor Williams not picking up that blitz fast enough, right? And Connor only gets a piece of him. But Dak has already seen that the safety is too far over into the middle of the field because of the trips right formation that Kellen Moore called. Dak knows this. So now he just loads up. He knows he's going to get hit on this play, but he knows early where he's going. Before the play even starts, he knows where his man is due to the formations that Kellen Moore set him up with. That safety is too far off, and Dak knows it from the from the snap. He knows it. So Kellen's formation here he made it so that Dak can perform and, and, and make this easy throw. Uh, now, you know, and when I say easy throw, easier read, not easy throw, because that was actually a great pass from Dak. All right, let's watch and see what this jet sweep does. Now, you see how on this one, Cobb is jet sweeping, right? And he's going to sweep around Zeke and and Dak, right? Now, Dak knows that there's man coverage, and he sees that the entire uh, defense is shifted. They've shifted. Their their strength is, is to wit and side because they feel like that's the strong side of this offense, uh, rightfully so. But he also sees that they're in cover one, and cover one means one single high safety, but they're in man underneath, right? Now, Dak sees this, and he knows it's a foot race on that jet sweep. So he can hand this ball off if he chooses to and run into the teeth of the defense, or he can throw it to the per perimeter, make it very easy throw. Once that defensive end bites on that play action, Dak just throws an easy lob out, sort of like a check down pass or a swing pass. He throws it, but Dak doesn't have to think because he knows this is just a foot race, and Cobb already has leverage, right? As you can see, he's already outrun his guy. Dak knows this before the play is even really started. He knows this. So this, what Kellen Moore has done here is made it so that Dak doesn't have to think in order to make plays, and this is a design play. They're blocking on that back end, both receivers, and they could have run on this front end because it's an option play. So they can run into the teeth there. You see Zeke would have nowhere to go. Or you could just pass it out right to, to I mean, out left to to uh, Cobb on the swing, and Cobb can make a play, which he did. He had enough space and leverage. So shout out to Kellen Moore. Now, that's, that's all by design there. Now, if you're going to run Dak, you see here we have Jamez in the backfield. They use him as a third down back. But if you're going to run Dak, you want to run him as a, and as a design running play. Why not use your lead blocker, which was very smart on Kellen's part. But if you pay attention to the shift at the beginning of this play, there's eight players to the right of the screen. Dak already sees this. It's a stacked or loaded or, or, or I guess like unbalanced defense. Everyone's to the right. So Dak uses Jamez to take out that free man right there. And it's just Dak in this safety here. Dak's just going to, you know, take it in there kind of tentatively because it's the beginning of the season. But I see later in the year Dak taking that guy out. We know he's good to shoulder truck a guy or get a guy the hell out of there. So, you know, hopefully we see that moving forward in the year. But if you're going to run Dak, that's definitely the way you do it. Uh, shout out to both Jamez and Kellen Moore. For, for that play, Jamez picked up that free runner, and Dak just had to look for that safety, and he knew that. There's, there was no one else that could make that play. Welcome to my bookie. You're ready to create an account and start making money, and we're here to help. And remember, you can get a bonus of up to $1,000 on your first deposit. You put in $100, we'll give you $100. You put in $1,000, and we'll give you $1,000. First, you'll review your selected bonus. You can change your bonus or decline your bonus. Next, you'll select a deposit option. Enter your deposit amount and click deposit. Fill out your card info. You can also edit your billing address if you need to. And then click confirm deposit. Now you're ready to bet. 
Just go to mybookie.ag, visit the sports book, click on your bet, and input the amount you want to risk or win in the bet slip. You can also view how much money you have left in your account and review your pending wagers. Yes, it's that easy. Just remember, at my bookie, you play, you win, you get paid. Okay, now on this play here, watch the, what the motion does. Now he's going to run, Dak's going to run Cobb in motion. And what that does is, one, it, it, it loads or unbalances this, this defense again. He knows, okay, number one, you have one, two, three, four, five. You have, you have nine players to the right of this, this uh, play. He knows because that trips right makes it so that there's nine defenders to the right. Dak sees that before anything. It's a very easy read for Dak. And then once he sees that corner come in motion to settle in, he hikes that. He he does a hard snap there. Now that hard count, you see he he sees that that middle linebacker is blitzing and so is that defensive end. He knows that now or or that, that linebacker on the outside as well. He's either blitzing or he's faking the blitz, but Dak knows that those guys are sh showing pressure. So what he does know is no one's coming underneath uh, uh, Cooper's route up there. And that safety, once he snaps that ball, that safety is now has to respect that trip's right. So he's frozen in the middle. He can't converge over the top of Cooper. That holds him just long enough. And Dak knows that pre-snap that that play is wide open. So Dak throws that pass over the shoulder. It's, it reminds me of a play that he threw to Dez in his rookie, I mean, his second year, or third year, should I say. But he, he missed him on it. But Dak sees these things pre-snap. That's, that's new. Dak didn't have those ripples to deal with um, last year. So, again, shout out to Kellen Moore. Shout out to Dak for recognizing it. Okay, this play here is is it was great. It was a great design by Kellen Moore, and and I see now what the vision is. You see how they have both Jarwin and Witten spread out wide, and they have Zeke in the slot. So this is a five wide formation at its beginning. Now watch the shift. Here you go. Dak's gonna shift, and once he shifts, both tight ends, as we probably already know, come inside. But what they're doing is they're making this defense think pre-snap instead of Dak having to do all the thinking. Make the defense think. Right now that they're they're in a uh, stacked uh, single back or ace formation, right? They're stacked to the right. Our right is the strong side. You see Antoine Bethea, he's going or Bethea, he's going to come down into the slot. He can't stick Cooper. So Dak knows this. He sees the mismatch from, from the beginning, right? But he shows blitz here. So once his weight and once he comes all the way down into the box there, you know, now it's like, OK, Dak sees he wants to eat. And you see which way the safety, the Thomas, is. his hips are already pointed out wide. So you can see he's already going to dart out to try to get over the top of Jackrabbit because Jackrabbit's not a man. He's in like a cover two look. Right. And he doesn't know enough to float underneath that over Gallup. So that opens up the middle of the field. Dak knows this from the from the snap. There wasn't even a play action on this play. He can see that from the snap that the middle of the field is wide open. and He has enough protection to see it stand tall and deliver. Now, Dak wasn't able to do this with Linehan because there were no pre snap ripples or motions to create those types of mismatches. Dak has an opportunity this year to be very good. Very good. Shout out to Kellen Moore and Dak once again. Okay, one thing that Linehan did do for us, though, the fact that Kellen Moore and Linehan come from the same ilk, meaning from the same understanding, he knew what Linehan was trying to do last year. So the fact that defenses know that, they're going to come out and respect what's on film. They have to respect their eyes. And on this play, you see how Jarwin and Witten are strong side, right? So the defense has to line up strong side because historically we would run right into that, right? So they have to think that we might do what we had a tendency to do before. This is what's going to make this year, you know, too hard to game plan for us anyway, because defenses, you see how they're all just sucked over to the to the left. So now they've all shifted left side. Right. And they're still in the box because historically we were run right into those types of fronts and we're going to still look like we are on this particular play. And Kellen Moore is just capitalizing off of Linehan's ghost, really. And it's going to make it for a great season. Who knows if they catch up to him in the film room next year. But right now we're going to kill this because he knows the tendencies of defenses based off our history with Dak and everything else is the same. Right. So once they converge on Zeke here, 
the defense that is you see on the back end Dak knows he has that slant now that's just an, that's an audible right there he just audibles to that Cooper has zero zero to beat if he breaks his tackle you see that everyone is one two everyone's up there at the line Cooper only has to break this tackle and if he breaks his tackle it's off to the races for him it's just a touchdown there's nothing anybody can do about it and that's what you call a touchdown by design. This was designed to be a touchdown. There was no doubt about that. You know, Kellen Moore designed that to be a touchdown play. If Cooper breaks just a little a little tackle there, it's over. There's nothing anybody can do about it. So, again, you see the intricacies that are here and that exist. Like, there's – whoo, I'm excited about what this season can do uh, for us and what Dak can do with these easier – pre-snap reads due to the motions and the formations that we're using so my hat goes off to both Kellen Moore uh, Dak and this organization for even recognizing Kellen, Kellen Moore's genius but we needed some youth and exuberance in this offense and it and it shows man it shows shout out to those guys now I know you guys are asking like how well does that work against the run now you see here witness representing our strong side so when I say strong side I just mean the side that the tight end is on Okay, now we're going to run a jet sweep right here to that strong side, which is going to cause the linebackers and the linemen to shift and over-exaggerate their rush to that side, all right? Now, what that does is it frees up Collins there because Collins doesn't have to block 58. Had the run been going that way without the jet sweep, 58 would have just came crashing down and he would have had to block him. But 58 is occupied by that sweep, which allows Collins to choose who he gets in front of. So he reached blocks 47. And now, as you can see, on the front side of that play, you have one, two, three, four on four blockers, right? Four, five on four block. I mean, uh, five on four defenders. Right. That allowed Zeke to get in there and, and, and do something. But, you know, Zeke's a little rusty, but you can see the concepts developing right in front of your eyes, man. So that's how it affect the run. We sweep to the strong and run to the weak. That was smart. OK, that was smart. So it's going to require as Zeke breaks a tackle or two, which he, we know he's good at. OK, folks, on this last play, you're going to ask yourself, what do these shifts really do? Uh, how do you hide a running back that is your number one player? Now, you see how we shifted inside, and right now we have them kind of spread out on like an ace wing type of formation, right? Uh, now, that Cobb came inside, it allows Witten to come shift inside. Now, that moves those linebackers uh, back because that linebacker had to switch due to the fact that uh, Cobb went in motion. He said, hey, we don't want a linebacker out there on a receiver, so switch. Now you're inside. The linebacker's like, hey, what do I do? Because he has to think before this play. Hey, what do you do? You pay attention to Witten. Now that Witten's back inside, right? Now that Witten's back inside, you see them paying attention there. Now they 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 assume, okay, oh, there's the motion. Okay, now you see that linebacker switches. He comes back inside. He's going to pay attention to the run and Witten. Forty sevens on Witten as well. Now they're paying attention inside. They don't. This wasn't their original assignment when they lined up. So you're forcing this th defense to think fast before the snap. All right. Now you see which way they're shifted as well, right? Everybody shifted all the way to the right. And that number 34, that corner or safety, he shifts inside as well. They bite on this play action, but it really doesn't matter because that jet sweep at the end to Cobb forces everyone to freeze to the right. Now, they've already stacked themselves to the right, and now they're frozen over there because they have to respect the sweep that's coming right into the teeth of the defense, right? That allows Zeke to switch off that play action, and you see everyone's boxed off except for one player, and that's that corner that's deep. Everyone else is boxed off. If Zeke doesn't catch that ball high and slip, he gets a little further on this play. But you see how it opened up his lane. That sweep right there, that sweep motion, freezes him just enough where Dak can look over and, 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 and pause and, and then sneak Zeke right out there to the backfield, I mean, to the, uh, into the secondary. That was just great work by, by everybody, man. Great execution, too. But shout out to these Cowboys for doing what they're doing. Like, you don't see too many teams uh, that I see defensively that are able to stop this easily because they have to think. And when you're forcing the defense to think pre-snap, it's a different ball game. To all of you who watch uh, my breakdowns, who like the breakdowns, I appreciate doing them. For those of you who who, who like to uh, watch me for picks or gambling or anything, if you just like listening to me for uh, because you're a fan, either way, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, 
hitting the notification button so you can know when all of my content is released. Uh, also, make sure you guys are out there using, if you're betting with me, make sure you're using mybookie.ag. That's what I use. You can find it in the description or in the link below. Um, make sure you guys sign out. What you would do is you go out there, uh, if you're betting with me, you go out there and uh, you sign up, you make your initial deposit, uh, you need to do that by, uh, I guess, by Wednesday because we're we're going to be betting from Thursday through Sunday. Uh, but, yeah, go out there, check it out. Uh, I'm going to give you guys the picks. All you got to do is plug and play. Um, I, I'm not telling you guys what to do or how to do it. I'm just letting you know what I do. But, you know, if you guys are following me there, make sure you go out there and do that as well uh, or go out to the social media sites and just follow what I do there. I'll, I'll post all my results and so on. But, Let's get it, man. We're going to have a great season, both from a betting standpoint and from a Super Bowl standpoint as a as a fan. So let's let's get it cracking, man. I'm enjoying every bit of this ride. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing and sharing if you like it too, man. All right? Appreciate you. See you guys soon, and I'm out.